U.S. Air Force Skyborg. Artificial Intelligence Combat Drone Program. The U.S. Air Force has released a slick new video regarding its Skyborg program, which is developing a suite of systems that will form an artificial intelligence-driven computer brain capable of flying networked loyal wingman-type drones and fully autonomous unmanned combat air vehicles. What the service wants out of this project, how it sees it fitting into its larger aerial combat ecosystem, and what unmanned capabilities it might serve as a stepping stone toward in the future. The Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, posted the video on YouTube on June 24, 2020. AFRL is leading the development of Skyborg, which the Air Force first unveiled publicly in March 2019. The service issued a formal call for proposals regarding work to integrate the various systems into an actual prototype unmanned aircraft last month, saying it expected to hire multiple contractors to craft competing designs. The new Skyborg video features concept art with additional views of an ocean loyal wingman type drone that Air Force Research Laboratory first showed publicly last year. The design, which has clear low observable, stealthy, features, has a centrally mounted main wing and V-tail. A top mounted air intake at the rear of the fuselage feeds into a single small jet engine with a shrouded exhaust. A cuter way shows a modular equipment bay in the top of the forward fuselage, including what looks to be some kind of sensor, possibly meant to depict an infrared search and track IRST, system, in the nose. This conceptual aircraft has two internal payload bays underneath the fuselage in between its tricycle landing gear. It's important to note that there is no indication that this design is anything but a concept. However, it does highlight various features that Air Force appears to be interested in seeing on prototype drones for the Skyborg program. The video also details three general categories of priorities, described as open, resilient and autonomous that are driving the Air Force's requirements for the Skyborg system and the platform carrying it. Air Force Research Laboratory has said in the past that the initial goal is to test Skyborg on a loyal wingman-type drone before moving on to a fighter jet-sized UAV and that the systems could potentially find their way into manned aircraft, where they would act as a sort of artificial intelligence-driven virtual co-pilot. The Air Force has a separate effort underway, dubbed R2-D2, after the famous droid from the Star Wars franchise who serves as a sort of robotic navigator and flight engineer, to develop a drone with a more robust autonomous air-to-air -air capability that could face off against a human fighter pilot as early as next year. The loyal wingman drones that the Air Force is exploring now are specifically supposed to be attritable meaning that they would be cheap enough that commanders could employ them in situations where there would be greater risks of them not returning that would otherwise preclude the use of a more traditional reusable platform. Skyborg equipped attritable drones, operating in this middle region, could support a wide variety of mission sets, including air-to-air -air and air-ground combat, and munitions, and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. IRS, tasks, communications, and data sharing network architecture that the Air Force is working on separately. The Skyborg could ultimately support even more missions, such as close air support, interdiction, and next-gen ISR slash strike, the latter of which could refer to penetrating unmanned platforms including UCAFs. The Air Force is in the process of exploring future aerial combat concepts as part of its Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. The Air Force has said it is hoping to have a prototype version Skyborg ready next year and an operational version of the system flying a loyal wingman-type drone by 2023. 
It will be very exciting to see how the program progresses and how the system evolves to take on additional roles in the future. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.